Hi, I'm Dr. Ruth Anderson, founder of Enlightened World, and I am so excited to be with Linda Dirks today. And Linda just published her very first book. It's a handbook. It's called Quiet Mind, How to Create Freedom from Depression and Anxiety. So let me introduce to you Linda Dirks. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Ruth. It's so wonderful to be doing this with you again. I am so pleased to be here with you. (laughs) And today marks the day that Amazon launched your book. So um, I know for you, this has been a really long journey of living what the book is about and then helping give people the solutions to to what you were living. Um, Can you tell us a little bit about your book, Quiet Mind, and what led you to this place of writing it for other folks to learn from? Oh, gee, where to start, Ruth? I, I, I went through a period in my life that I refer to as the dark ages, and I want to put a positive spin on this because ultimately it was one of the, the greatest awakenings of my life. But uh, I was extremely sick. I was battling with depression. I'd lost my identity, my sanity. I was out of work for years. I'd lost all my money, and then I had breast cancer. And coming through all of this process, I fell into almost a, you know, like a PTSD process. And I had never thought a great deal about alternative healing and the power of, that I had innately within myself to heal myself until I was faced with a situation where I was completely out of the reach of Western medicine. So I was forced to take a look and, and, and realize that I had to take a really hard look at my life and what could I do to make myself healthy. So I started studying really rather complex processes of quantum mechanics and neuro-linguistic programming, neuroplasticity. I read Dispenza and Braden and Louise Hay and Bruce Lipton. And I started practicing all of these things. And it was just the most amazing thing in my life to see how my life could change. And, and, uh, you know, over the, over the time that I've even known you, you know, just, just these great expressions of, of uh, realization and joy and higher awareness and just more than anything, just great joy and great health in my life. And I said, wow, this really works. Now, how can I take my personal experience and put it into simple language and very simple practices and put it out there for the ordinary guy. I think too many people are faced with a lot of literature, a lot of complex things, and there's that disconnect of how do I incorporate this into my life? And it all seems so daunting when really, it really isn't that difficult. It's just uh, a personal pact with yourself of, patience and persistence and when you start seeing those changes occurring you know it's it's not an overnight fix but it just gradually continues to unfold so beautifully so along with you know your encouragement years ago and other people that I've worked with I've had lovely mentors and it's uh it's been what I call like a marble in a groove it's been uh, you know my purpose to step into this and I, I was published in a couple of magazine in the Chopra newsletter, and it just seemed logical to put this book together. It was one of those projects that just took on a life of its own. I know that you've experienced the same thing, haven't you, when a project takes on its own life? Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, one of the things, Linda, that I really think is brilliant about, about you, and you call it a handbook, but so many books are like, 250, 300 pages, yours is about 50 pages. And I think when you're really in the throes of the anxiety and the depression, to look at a 300 page book would probably just seem insurmountable. So to be able to have this this shortened version of, let me just tell you what you need to know to survive, right? It's just the, it's like bullet points surrounded by a hug is the only way <laughs> is how I see your book. Surrounded by a hug. Uh, that actually was by design because if I look at a book and it is 300 pages and it's daunting, 
uh, it's, it, it, it's, 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 it is, it's just going to be daunting. So to look at a book, this is specifically put together with just my history, my background, and then bullet points in four different categories. So it's not the type of book where you're going to read it and walk away with a couple of key concepts that you might incorporate into your, your life. This book is intended to be a daily guide that you're going to revisit again and again and again, because as you incorporate these practices, your skill level rises and your awareness rises and you go back and you say, oh, I want a little bit more. I want to be a little bit uh, better. How can I fine tune what I'm doing? And I, I do have to impress that it's a it's a process of being gentle with yourself, of being compassionate, but just stacking one habit on top of the other. And as you start to see the results, you just become so inspired. So I hope that, you know, in five years, everybody's book is going to look like the dog chewed it and <laughs> it's just going to have coffee ring stains on it. And it's just going to be something that sits next to your, your couch or next to your bed that you just keep referring back to because it's, it's small, it's short, it's concise. Uh, it is going to be followed up with a larger book with far more more details, but this was just intended to be entry level so that people can just get the basics and become inspired with this work, the way it's really inspired me. And I, I love what you said about it coming with a, with a hug because, you know, for those of us that work, you know, within the divine, we know that everything is about love and joy and kindness and gentleness with ourselves. And to, to have a, a, a book that has language you don't understand or um, practices that are difficult to incorporate, I mean, that, that was the whole purpose was to uh, bring it into simple language, simple practices, even though they appear simple, they actually are incorporating very complex concepts but in a, in, a, in a very easy way. And the slightest pivot of an attitude can bring just tremendous results. Well, and one of the things I, I really appreciate about your book, Linda, is that you lived this. You're not coming in from some ivory tower just saying, let me fix you. That's not it. You're coming into this saying, look guys, I lived this and I know somewhat of what you're going through and I survived it and this is how I survived it and it might be helpful to you too. It's beautiful. Ah, thank you, Ruth. I think that that is one of the key components to being able to inspire and motivate people to, to completely from my heart say, I've done this and I know that you can do it too. Come with me. I'll show you. Come with me. Let me embrace you and I will show you how to do this too. And like you and the work that you do, as I look back on the last 15 years of my life and, you know, the, the, the difficult times, you know, this book represents a lot of pain, but it represents a lot of growth that, you know, we look back in our lives and we see how everything that happened has happened for a reason, has happened for a purpose, and that we have been maybe to a degree divinely guided, but definitely designated. I know that I have been designated from the onset to be a messenger of this truth and to carry it out to the world. And, you know, one of the biggest things on my bucket list is to, is to take uh, a hard look and to encourage the world to change the way they look at healthcare and their own involvement and their so own self-empowerment in the process. That's beautiful. And you're doing it because look at you, you're published, you're on Amazon. It's really <laughs> exciting. So um, when this realization came to me in January, it was, it was astounding. Uh, but it's only because I work with other wonderful people like you mm -hmm. that I become inspired to uh, reach to a higher level myself. Oh. I appreciate that. So Linda, one of the favorite, one of my favorite things that you say is come dance with me. <laughs> you say that all the time. And I really do believe that folks 
that need to hear your message if they pick up Quiet Mind, How to Create Freedom from Depression and Anxiety on Amazon. Look up um, Linda Dirks, and it's spelled D-I-E-R-K-S. It's actually easy to find. Um, they're going to be able to come dance with you. And I can feel your invitation to them to come dance with you. So Linda, thank you for taking time with us this morning. And I cannot wait to see how the launch of your book goes. So thank, thank you. you. We'll be in touch. Okay. Take care.